And now I'm talking to Caroline O'Connor, the manager of UCD VO. Caroline, how's it going? Caroline, I interviewed you a couple of months ago at the, the Irish Aid Fair. And just in case some people are listening that didn't hear that interview, could you just give us a bit about, um, uh, tell us a bit about UCD VO and the work that you do with them, please? Sure, yeah. So UCD Volunteers Overseas is a registered charity based here at University College Dublin. And we provide opportunities for students, staff and graduates of UCD to engage in international volunteering and development education programmes. And how did you get involved in it? I actually got involved in my final year in UCD when I was a student um, in 2004. Um, I happened to see a poster in the arts block looking for volunteers to travel to India. Um, I thought that was absolutely uh, what I was looking for at that time. And I travelled to Delhi um, in June 2004. Uh, with a group of 33 other volunteers and that was the year that UCDVO was established as a charitable organisation um, and since 2003, since it was established, we've now sent um, 1,300 people overseas um, and then I started as manager um, in 2009. And um, does your degree that you got in UCD have any relevance to what you're doing now? Yeah, so my undergraduate um, was a degree in English and classics here in UCD. But after my volunteering experience in India, I was really motivated to learn more about international development. So I went on to uh, do a master's in international development in the University of Sussex in the UK. Um, and that's where I really focused on learning about international education, about gender, um, about um, curriculum development in developing country contexts, for example. Um, and I was able to apply my my research for my uh, master's thesis to my experience volunteering overseas and I focused uh, particularly on education for street-based children in India. All right uh, you probably know about the Hope Foundation then and uh, did you ever hear of SCAD? Did you ever hear of SCAD? They work in that I don't know how to pronounce it Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu they're, mm-hmm. they're setting up a support organization in Ireland but um mm-hmm. That's great. Um, we're here at the event, uh, your, which is well, your annual conference. We're here at your annual conference. Could you just tell us about it, please? Like, tell us the team of it this year and kind of what's going on. Yeah, so the title of this year's conference is International Volunteering, Where Can It Take You? And that poses a question really for people to consider about the different options um, for returned volunteers and also for those who are thinking about starting on a journey of international volunteering about all of the different opportunities and pathways uh, that it can lead you into. So today we had an opening speaker, uh, Professor Paul Walsh, who's the Chair of International Development Studies here in UCD, and he outlined... um, um, the sustainable development goals as a framework for for where international volunteering can sit and where it can um, mobilise people into uh, working towards the SDG agenda for 2030. We also then had a storytelling session which involved uh, three past volunteers, uh, so three people who have gone through the UCDVO programme and are now um, established in their careers. One is an architect, one is a physiotherapist and one's worked in corporate social responsibility. And they were asked to share their stories and share the impact of their volunteering experience on the decisions they made around career choices and further studies and I suppose how um, their experience volunteering has um, impacted on their personal lives as well. Yeah, and how many delegates are there here today? Yeah, so there's approximately 100 people here today um, and we have 15 organisations represented um, and the the rationale for inviting in the, the organisations is really f- for them to showcase the tangible opportunities that they have to offer for return volunteers in particular um, and for students who are undertaking courses in international development, maybe at a master's, PhD level, to look at what are the career opportunities Options, what are the um, internship options, volunteering, campaign groups. So we really want to showcase the different pathways that people can take. Um, and it's not about it's not all about moving people into the development sector. It's also looking at how the principles of development and the the goals set out in the SDG framework can be integrated into existing pathways and existing areas of interest. So if you're an accountant or an engineer or an architect, you don't necessarily need to divert onto a path a different pathway you can actually still be an architect working in development or an accountant working in a development um, related field so I think that 
that's really where the SDG agenda is going to be of most relevance is if it if uh, the goals are made mainstream and they're not seen to be a separate sector for people to to work on separately. Yeah, it's important to be aware of the goals. Uh, what what are the actual the goals themselves? Um, I'll I'll be talking to other people here today. Um. Uh, just to finish up, uh, oh, actually, you had a f you have uh, rather uh, a photo exhibition as well, don't you? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so the photo exhibition is called Our Goals Are Global Goals, um, and it's been designed to highlight the links between UCDVO's program and the SDG agenda. So we put the call out to our uh, return volunteer network to submit photos which they thought had a direct link to one of the particular sustainable development goals, um, and to send in the photo and to send in a caption about how they thought it linked to the STG framework. So there are 14 photos on display today and we have a judging panel from our partners in Concern Worldwide, Colov um, and in Development Perspectives and they're going to um, to review the, the photo submissions today and announce the winner of the competition this afternoon. Okay, that was great. I was looking at them, they're very they're big photos, they look very good but they're printed big. You know? I'll be talking to some other people today and uh, thank, I just, is there anything you want to say, like just uh, if anyone's listening and they're thinking of getting into the volunteering sector, like international development mm. or, they're, or, a torn, or, or if they're a torn volunteer or anything like that? Mm. Yeah, I think if you are thinking about engaging in international volunteer programs, I would certainly look at organisations which are signatories to the Code of Good Practice for Volunteer Sending Organisations. Um, and this code is um, is held by COLOV, which is an umbrella organisation for uh, volunteers and development workers in Ireland. Um, and there are, I believe, 39 organisations which are signatories to that code. And that code um, ensures high quality standards um, in terms of being ethical, being responsible, ensuring that you are working in partnership, that programs are designed carefully and are mutually beneficial. So there's a number of different principles outlined in the code which organisations have to audit themselves against on an annual basis. So I'd highly recommend that, that anybody thinking about um, volunteering abroad um, would look at the signatory organisations as places to go for, for um, support and guidance. Okay, do you want to just give us the contact details of UCDVO, please? Yeah. So you can check out our website, it's ucdvo.org. We're on Facebook as well, and our Twitter handle is at UCDVO. And you have to be uh, a student in UCD to volunteer with us? Uh, so UCDVO is open to students, staff and graduates of UCD. Mm. So even if you um, were here 10 years ago and you're interested in volunteering, um, yes, we, we're certainly open to that. We also uh, recruit external um, volunteers for specific um, skill sets or, or specific projects so we're particularly interested in hearing from teachers youth workers development workers um, who will be interested in leadership roles traveling with a group of students on project okay carolyn thanks very much i'll be talking to some other people as well here today thanks, thanks very much now i'm talking to brida gahan from concern brida how's it going could you tell us why you're here today please Hi Darren, nice to see you again. Yes, I'm here to support the UCD Volunteer Organisation Conference Day to orient people who've come today about, I was asked to speak about the role of concern and health and nutrition work in developing countries, to give an overview of the four different countries I've lived and worked in, Iraq, Sudan, Cambodia and Mozambique. Countries I've worked in for child survival support like Bangladesh and Rwanda. And my current role is the team lead for health, HIV, and integration of nutrition services into health in developing countries. Yeah, are you here since the first thing this morning at this conference? Or are we... I arrived just before lunch. The workshop I was facilitating at was between 2 and 4 o'clock. Okay, I'll probably be talking to you again within the next week or so about World AIDS Day. Is there anything else you want to say uh, about the event here today and your involvement with UCDVO? Yeah, no, it's, it's great to see the interest of young people here. I hadn't been at this event before. It's really important to see that there's a volunteer spirit among young people and people's interest. It's already dark. It's what time? It's 4.30. There's still a big audience here. And yes, I hope People will mark World AIDS Day on the 1st of December. Uh, still, unfortunately, 5,700 plus people newly infected every day. 
18 million people are on treatment, which is great. The glass is half full. But there are still over 18 million people for treatment to reach. And the theme this year is Stand Up for HIV Prevention. But we can talk about that closer to the day. And now I'm talking to Julia from VMM. Julia, could you just get you to introduce yourself, please, and tell us uh, about VMM and why you're here today, please? Yeah, hi. Um, it's great to be here. I'm the International Programme Assistant from VMM, and we're a development and uh, volunteering organisation. We work in nine African countries, and we work in partnership with grassroots organisations uh, in Africa. We see um, what our partners, the local people there, um, need and try to facilitate and send um, skilled staff. Um, we also introduced last year um, a short-term volunteer um, opportunity um, and the projects are in education, health and community development. All right, and um, are you based in Ireland? Do you, like, do you live in Ireland? Are you Irish? Like, yeah. um, I am Austrian, but um, I live in Ireland, and the organisation is an Irish organisation. We're oh. based in Dublin, in Abbey Street, and we also have an office in Liverpool. All right, and are you Catholic or are you non, uh, non-dominational? Or what? Um, so we, um, we were established as a faith group, um, but we welcome volunteers from all backgrounds regarding religion, politics, or, um, or yeah. Okay, and are you here at the, at the UCD VO annual conference all day? Or are you just here for the, the presentations at the end? Or? No, I joined from the morning on, so we are here from the since 10 o'clock in the morning and I've joined the, the morning session as well as now um, a workshop on development, education and activism. Okay, and um, a, a, te- a big theme of today and the development sector in general is the global goals for sustainable development. Are you, are you big supporters of these as well? Yes, so um, we are working on them and we try to include them in the work that we are doing. Um, if it is quality education, if it's um, on water, if it's working in partnerships. Um, so we are very much um, trying to engage the, the goals in the work that we are doing. Great, Julia. Thanks very much. Thank you. And now I'm talking to Stephanie Kerman from Development Perspective. Steph- Stephanie, how's it going? Are you enjoying today here? I know today is nearly finished, n- finished up, but have you enjoyed the day so far? Hi, Darren. Yeah, we had a great time. Um, it was great. We had one of the workshops today looking at development education. So we, it was a really active, really engaging conversation and workshop. There was maybe 25 people there looking at why, what is the importance of development education, which was great. And it was great to see so many passionate people that have taken part in the UCD VO over the years and to be part of this process is really exciting. And there's a big emphasis today on the global goals, aren't there? And, and you are very involved with promoting them, aren't you? Yeah, so our project, the SDG Challenge, is really focusing on how Irish citizens can get involved in taking informed action on the global goals. So it was great to see other people that's interested in implementing them in their own work and trying to look at how we can create partnerships with the global goals in Ireland. It's so important. So what are you actually doing with the SDG Challenge like on a weekly or daily basis? Uh, so the SDG Challenge is focusing on one sustainable development goal each month. Um, everybody that signs up receives an information pack detailing that goal in more detail and then there's a set of four challenges that people can take in their own lives um, to really contribute to these goals and then I suppose we use social media as a way of people to engage and share the actions that they're taking and yeah and every month we have a workshop somewhere different in Ireland that really allows people a space to really get engaged in that goal and discuss further that goal. And you are based in Drogheda, aren't you? Yeah. And like, if like uh, if you're if we're, if we're in Dublin or some other county, like, is there opportunities to be involved with as much like? Yeah, so a lot of it is online that people, so if you sign up you receive the information pack online. Um, but our lot, So our next workshop is actually in Dublin in the Teachers Club on the 6th of December at 7 o'clock. And it's going to be focusing on goal 9, looking at economic growth and um, infrastructure, do some work. So yeah, so if anybody's interested in coming to that one on the 6th of December, feel free to get in touch and we'll reserve you a space. Alright, Stevie, thanks very much. Thanks, Sarah. And now I'm talking to Maeve McKernan from UCD. You're a lecturer, Maeve, are you UCD? I'm not. I'm actually a student in the Masters in Development Practice Programme here at UCD. 
Uh, could you tell us about the, uh, tell us about this course, please, and tell us a bit about your experience of it, please? Yeah, so it's a two-year master's degree. Um, it's very broad in its in its the subjects that it covers, and basically, it's intended to give um, professional development practitioners, a, you know, an understanding of all the environmental, the social, and the economic issues that are going on in the world. And it's the only degree in Ireland that's actually awarded jointly by Trinity and UCD. So you're in both universities for the two years. Well, you've lectured. In both, uh, lecturers in both lecturers in both colleges. Yeah. yeah, so we attend lectures in both colleges, and then the other unique part of the program is that there's three placements with it. So you work with an Irish NGO, and you do two overseas placements. So you get all that experience before you finish. And you in first or second year? I'm in my first year, so I'm just finishing my first semester at the moment. Yeah. And how did you find the first year? It's been really good. It's it's tough, but it's really really interesting. And you know the the group are great. We've got a really international group of students, so we're all learning from each other. Other. so it's been very enjoyable. How many is in your class? There are 23, 23 full-time students. When does this course start? Is this the first year? Or? No, it's been going since 2009. Um, it's part of a global network of masters. There's 40 of them internationally um, and they were started by the MacArthur Foundation with funding from them and they've just yeah, grown since then. And um, was your degree in college in a related subject? It was in law, so not really that related, but I've been working for a charity for the last few years in South Africa and then wanted to get the master's and this seemed like the, the right one for me. A law is a useful degree. It's, it's helpful. Right. Yeah. Now, what do you hope to do after you finish the course? Do you have any plans yet? Um, well, I'd like to try and work for one of the big organisations, maybe the UN or someone like that. Um, even though they're very difficult organisations, I'd like to try and make a big impact and and hopefully yeah hopefully be able to make some difference in the world so that's the hope okay good luck with it anyway thank you so much thank you very much and this time we're going to laura in the octacy uh laura consulting on fate you're going to the food fine or raw dune i guess our ancient dune k4 i will too and showing you uh well laura's and them is us call of me um so we go over my radiography in Uspjen and Lani um, Shaw and Temple. Um so we show in you uh con Tila Aulum um if we uh uh let go over my uh Sarali um Harlar uh who may go on Tanzan if we go uh Govila Sahini gis Govila Sadoig the UCD volunteers overseas um on Cade or um who may mer Sir Ali uh just skin rolta who may um egg over Iskalna uh Bunskal August Manskal Egg Muna Reaver the Namoon Tori uh on a skin my she the noun Nishkinna uh technical um, so is your scholar who then um, clashed on Sean Will? Yeah, Shani, um, we're going to make Sadra a radiography on Sean at UCD. Um, uh, plus me, um, Mar Bowell, the UCD VO um, in the Hedrin Snowskull. Um, August Van Mayan, Tan Vas Mar V VO Mar Clondum. Um, August Fiskadas, Dini Cordula, Avet, Imakodu, there, Igandur Shoxna, Nora Nokrau, Dina, like Fonacht, Oka, Vio Diagoni, Urshu, Le Vio. So, Kari Shalom, Fed Bonchuk, Le the throne room the club Sunanska August um Chilin Fogger Lan Milesh um Honak Mirash um Madarvlin August Hu May Delme G on Tanzin Mar uh Kenra uh Mocklane the group in Ua August Lan Mirlesh on over Gahosi uh Nikaid Sarolha um Kuplavin Usagor um so Igmuna Rivri Berla Igdane of Ober uh No well Nish three Kuplafuckalan Shot Sanshid Oka 
no Swahili, uh, Kvalan Swahili for your mark. And Fay Jot the animal horts doing like his bug on the uh filled fane and it's doing let it hope. On the early Sadam Dum, um Tommy a Gobermar Hoar the Hor Erin Global Citizen Award, um Shintogra um a hugan dushina the Dwina Ian and Ober Yona Harlar, um Tatri Hushan Drush Kriu, Arigate Agus Or, Agus Ober, Agus um is still a commitment free let egg boy and like Achi and Dush Steve Shin. I guess this is Aaron who are boss on Grass Hill. It's just as injured on me. Koshar, I guess, yeah. Um, Shinka Hintak, um, can a hosting to a gober or less on a great shot of a page at the ancient doing? I guess, page at the ancient doing a cotton of bunny, okay? Um, Ton. The Global Citizen um, Award will be shit on Fui Anim Ella, or Ravi Lissadoye, Gashade Stoch and Darna Blee and Egan Global Citizen Award. A kind time of year, Hannah? And um, the the International Volunteer Award, I guess Nikovin and Kadi and Anamela. I guess on which you have Mark Quidge the Agriacht War Ella and Digan Tail like. Tontogra Port Minaha Egg E I L Intercultural Learning Agus Irish Aid. I guess uh, on will two on show a new egg on U C T V O on uh Codal uh um Blaine Tail and Will Two on show on Kane Road or or Majin on a new nor Honig Two and written lay. No to mention on the Logger Majin. I guess Ken Queer Hatton and Lawlock. Oh, we should have Keen, we can't in a horror of a Spragul or Gahena and Banel. I guess you have a kind of Dina to Gober Sice and Arna, I guess on Passion, I guess on Sice Deal, a Yen and Shield, Lishan, Lishan Obershaw. It's um, it's it's road special to the port of a no cause marsha. I will tell you go to the Gober Harlar. Um, we may find it in a bubble, you know, um, Snargentina for if a couple of me. Um, I guess we talk to Tahia Gamera over you know, he and a Savala Homa. Gormila Magat. Gormila Magat. So, the failure to animal hearts doing at all? Yeah, it's fader gone down. Uh, Smisha is also Nikon a core. Okay. I guess the failure to ancient doing being K Fog will to ensure you. Ah, uh, it's okay. Uh, Tom and Shahan of um, these hand pointer play UCD VO August May on show a glass no hot color ballo clear. Ah, could make a Haiti in August Cahar dig August in August could dig low. Ah, if we love her, it's moon to her man scholar May a glass kashlefe a laucon. August Hanum and Shahan of can nice small album for your doctor's fur perha beam sugar burlesque the cold of August just massum coming on on cold gold show on on the wall. Uh, you know, I guess Jane to come on, egg used to be also be similar. Just for us, our boss on Grail's Ah, it's us, Kiri Hasme, it's us, Kahar Savin, Domsa, V. Gwail Gag Mam Swala, Ak Drassel, Drassley, a sir, Klosh de Ida, Sadang, and Skull Cone, how long Gwail Gag. So, V2 in the Cone in Shin? Yeah, it's Skull Cone, I thought. So, yeah, V. Sound, oh, Vlina Hain, could you blame the And near Honamag UCD and Shin, V. May Irish Game, Cone, uh, Brunnock, Skaloric board in the Gwailgarm, so we have a Mahoney, a Jack and Gwailgarm show at UCD. Yeah. I guess, uh, cut a minute to uh, uh, UCD uh, Moonshaw or Conra? Um, to run No, no, we take Frost out there and Clash, the Gwailgarm. Oh, on Shaw UCD, uh, run a May Vaughan came so Gwailgar, August Sakyol on Shaw UCD, August on Shin Kumerike, Clash in the Ternoda, August run a May on Moster Carmel's Nadakus, um, so Creek May is Shin, and there, uh, August, we love her, Tom Moon. Yes, and that mean Clash of Cushliff a lot? Oh, that mean Clash of Cushliff a Gamorlum, Ton, Fern, Gahalan, August, Ton, Scholarly, Ani Astho, On, Simachus, Guelga, On, Vasco, Erin Guelga, August, yeah, Tom, we're going to have us, yeah. I guess, uh, Connors are happening on La Latin, you, uh, Vetan Show? A handshake of Morlum, um, Visha An Simul, uh, Viran Schaelich, their shul, er, 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 Madden, and Visha Shinani As, you know, Ton Simagum. In a dock is for Berhagas, but Ralam can all land into Lesh, um, you know, a machin show. Uh, mm-hmm. August, a cap description, An Simul, Laura Tadini, a tall, can all, you know, Erin Mohershin, um, August, Keshna, you know, Desh of Aon, Keshna, Kharahu, August, Rodigan, Aulam, Uig, Uhu, Gamishkilf, yeah.